Okay, today we're going to show you how to fix your Westinghouse TV if it has a no signal error or a blank screen. We're going to show you several methods uh, for fixing this problem. Um, if you stay with us all the way to the end of the video and try each of these methods, uh, there is a very high probability that uh, this problem will be solved for you. Okay, the first thing to try here is really the simplest. And in most cases, this one will actually work, so you might not even need to go on. Uh, just basically unplug your TV from the wall. Wait about 60 seconds. Now, don't be impatient here. Wait the 60 seconds and then plug it back in. This will reset your TV. Now, this is a lot different than switching the remote on and off. So do do it from the wall plug. Um, if this solves your problem, you're set. If not, let's go on to the next try. I want you to look on the back or side of your TV and find out where the device that you're trying to get to work is plugged in. Right above where it's plugged in, there's usually a note there that says which port this is, whether it's HDMI 2, 3, etc. Then just select the source button on the remote and select the HDMI port that the device is connected to. If you don't have a source button, press the home button on your remote, go to settings, and then TV input. That's our video for today. As always, thank you very much for watching, and please remember to subscribe.